Hold the line, Carla. <laughs> I'm got you all. Oh, right. Uh, Ed, it's just about hope and fizz. Mm. She's cool, though. I told her it's a sleepover. For now. She's only gonna buy that for so long, though, isn't she? So are you still worried that she's maybe like Kirsten? <laughs> Can't help myself. I mean, are you anything like your man? No, I'll try not to be. <laughs> well, I am nothing like my man. Well, apart from I'm human and I breathe oxygen, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> so she's a bit naughty. Big deal. It's more serious than that. I mean, she doesn't mean anything by it, but... Kirsty was a proper psycho. You can't write your kid off at five years old. I'm not. Must have been proper hard then when you were living together. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Come on, open your pie hole. Spill the contents of your noggin. <sighs> Not much to say. <laughs> she used to hit me. She used to uh, throw things at me. Big things, heavy things. I'd constantly be walking on eggshells. Turning up at work, black and blue, lying to Kev. I was like a battered wife. I just felt like the biggest wimp. Oh, Ty. I just wanted to top myself. I mean, maybe it was the only reason that I didn't. I thought, well, I can't leave a week cursed. Oh, but what if this is right? What if some shrink says that, that Ruby is just like a miniature Kirsty? Hey, and all that loving and cuteness, it means nothing because she's got this streak of badness in her genes. It'll just make her life a misery. All our lives are misery. 